I'm on the computer with my kid, and I, I get this email from my Uncle Larry. Listen, dear Kurt, the end has come. I am with Jesus now. With Jesus, no way that guy's going up. He's going down. You told the sergeant downstairs you wanted to report a murder. Yeah, right here. Look. Ah, uh, see. The end has come. It's not too late for you. Any sinner can be saved. Look at me. I killed your Aunt Jen, but I found God, and he forgave me. Aunt Jen, that, that would be Uncle Larry's wife? She left him years ago. That's what he told people. He said she ran off with a boyfriend. I guess we need to go talk to Uncle Larry. Personally, I don't like the guy, but he keeps to himself. He never has nobody over, so what are you gonna do? The wife was okay. When was the last time you saw him? It's been a few days. Hello, Mr. Novak. His nephew said he had a cabin up in the Adirondacks. Maybe he went up there to stick his head in the oven. He lives alone, never has company. What does he need a freezer like that for? Whoa. Aunt Jan. Raul, what are you doing in here? Larry Novak? Yeah. You're not dead. Who says I'm dead? Your nephew received an email. Kurt? I never sent Kurt in. Oh, no. Those emails went out. You mind telling us about the dead body in your freezer? Oh, God. Those emails weren't supposed to. You know what this means? Yeah, it means you're under arrest. You're coming with us. Lord! Lord! Why am I left behind? <laughs> Good news, Larry. I checked it out. It didn't happen. Are you sure? Yeah, no planes falling from the sky. No people vanishing into thin air. All present and accounted for. So. Emails, it was a mistake? Yeah. So, okay, what the hell are they talking about? The rapture. The rapture, as in the last days, the book of Revelation. Right, when Jesus comes back and takes all good Christians to heaven? Well, I'm planning on retiring before that. <laughs> Those emails were only supposed to go out after. After the rapture. Are you sure it didn't happen? I'm still here, aren't I? You believe in Jesus? I do. Okay, is this a Sunday school class or a murder interrogation? He confessed in the car and I were just chatting. Well, didn't he ask for a lawyer? He yeah, says he doesn't need one. Says Jesus is going to get him out of jail when the rapture comes. Uh -huh. It's all on the website. Unraptured.com. Send God's word to those left behind. It, it's a subscription service. You pay five bucks a month and you write emails to your unsaved loved ones. The server stores them until the rapture comes. Then while you're shooting up to heaven, the computer sends them off little uh, farewell messages. And how's the computer supposed to know when the rapture happens? We are three Christian men living in different states. We log onto the website every day, but if two of us fail to log on for two days in a row, the system assumes that the rapture has occurred. And they didn't log on because they had been sucked up to heaven. There's no internet up there. Yeah, but the rapture didn't occur. As far as we can tell. I'm still here. You mentioned. <laughs> so why didn't those three Christian men log on? The webmaster lives in the city, Sam Burwell. Well, go see how he's doing. So are you really a believer? Or were you just getting the guy to talk? Uh, well, I've been seen in the church from time to time. Really, so are you, are you gonna fly up to heaven when Jesus comes back on the clouds? <laughs> I never said I believed in the rapture, but you never know. Sam Burwell, police. I probably went on a bender and forgot where he put his laptop. Probably explains why he hasn't logged on. Oh. 
Sam Burwell. Full in the head, a couple of bruises. Starting to get ripe in here a while. Oh, the shell casing. Oh, looks like a nine. Signs of struggle. No forced entry. Computer's here. Unraptured central. Answer machine is full. Probably IRA customers. Cell phone two. 11 missed calls. All from the same guy, Jason Altobell. When was the last time that you saw Sam? Two months ago at a church retreat. But I just talked to him Friday and everything was fine. This whole thing has to be bad for business. Those emails going out. It's not about business. I mean, Sam was trying to make a living from it, but it barely paid. He was broke. He wanted to perform a service. He saw the signs, you know? Jews returning to the Holy Land, the European Union, the financial crisis. Yeah, signs of the end times. Jesus is coming. We wanted to let people know they could still be saved even after the rapture. Anyone take offense to that? It's probably nothing. Sam didn't even mention it, but I heard he got into a fight with somebody at RaptureCon. RaptureCon? It's an end times convention, uh, like Comic-Con, but for prophecy nuts. We're in the last days. Yeah, that's what we've been hearing. Oh, no. I, I meant the convention. It ends tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, that, that guy you asked about, Burwell? He had a booth here. Did you track down that altercation we asked you about? That's Burwell. Hmm. These people can get pretty in your face about what they believe. Hey, stop it right there. Can you blow that up and print it? Well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Christian, but these guys are kind of extreme. It's like they can't wait for Jesus to come back and blow up the planet. I'm pretty sure he wants to make things better, not worse. Yeah. All right, let's see if somebody knows this guy. How about we start with a good Samaritan? I knew Sam. And that's his booth on rapture.com right there. But I've never seen the other man before. He had a visitor's name tag. He just had a last name, uh, Corliss. Corliss. Did you hear what they were fighting about? Sam said the guy was giving him a hard time about us. About sacred exodus. Sam's a, was a supporter. He was thinking of joining us in a trip. What exactly do you do, Mr. Reeves? Actually, it's reverend. We help Jews from the former Soviet Union return to Israel. The Bible says in the last days, Gentiles will gather God's chosen people back from the lands of the north. It's a precondition for the Lord's return. You send Jews home to die in the Battle of Armageddon. Is that what people object to? The people we aid live in poverty, endure anti-Semitism. So if Sam's death had anything to do with our work, I would feel terrible, but God is doing powerful things. And Sam's donation, it will be his legacy. How much did he give you? $100,000. All right, thanks for your help. His partner says Burrow was broke. Suddenly has a hundred grand to blow on a God project. Yeah, the same day that Mr. Corliss shows up to pick a fight. I'm guessing it's not a coincidence.